first of all. That's the only thing that's going to be played on the, the for real motherfucker, for real thing. It's true spitting facts. Shit, I got a lot to say I could say, you know what I'm saying, guys, but not, not, not even issue towards nothing that in my personal life or nothing like that, you know what I mean? It's just some shit that would be like, bam, motherfuckers, what's up? I just don't, because I ain't got uh, time for the drama that's going to swing back. <laughs> Every reaction is going to cause some fucking reaction, you know? Excuse me, and these motherfuckers are going to go buck wild and pun free with it. We already know that, don't we? We all know that already. Fucking stay lit, motherfucker. <laughs> damn, damn, I've done drunk too much, doctor. I've done drunk about 15 Dr. Peppers. No shit. You know, I've, I've drunk me about 15 Dr. Peppers. There's only one way to be an outlaw. The rest to be yourself and be a motherfucker that's rebellious against the cause. You know what I mean? And if you're not, it's only about against the cause you're against. Anything else, you know what I mean, is irrelevant in my life. There's a lot of shit irrelevant in my life I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Best believe that shit. Oh, yeah. Like right now, I'm burning time to do 11 o'clock YouTube. Feel me? I'm like, okay, what the fuck ever. But like, what's it with uh, who is it? Imagine dragons, demons, or whatever. Whatever it takes. I can feel the attraction. I'll do whatever it takes. You know what I mean? To flip my name. It's like he's saying in the song. You do whatever it fucking takes because you don't let anybody fucking put you down. I hate that shit. Anybody let somebody run them over. I was the type when I went to school, guys. Yeah, I played ball with the jock type, but let me tell you what, if you picked on somebody in front of me, you had a fucking, we had a problem, man, you know what I mean, that just don't flow, you know, that's a sheep kill on a piece of shit, you know what I mean, you know you're gonna whip up on that child, you know what I mean, or whatever it may be, while you're doing that, pussy. Try me, ask any friend I went to school with. They never had that problem because it, any any one of my classmates, Stowers, Crap, any one of them, you know, they're all in here. They come on here and watch all the time, too. The YouTube one is the one that gets the fucking uh, crazy views, man. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers are psychotic. I think they come from the Western Ward. Then you got the woodworkers, the creepy crawlers, the bitches to say, oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Like goddamn spiders coming out of a nest. You know what I mean? They faker in a two dollar fucking bill that's misprinted in fucking 2022. Straight the fuck up. And again, I'm gonna remind everybody that's watching my live feed right now at the moment, recording it anything, sniping it anything. I'm not sitting here talking shit about nobody, you know. I'm doing a live feed. Let's get that through everybody's mind. Let's continue to do that and move on in life, guys. Hang up on what you want to hang up on. I'm not going to. But yeah, these motherfuckers are like crawdads. Crawling out of the fucking creek and helgramites and shit. Crawling for a fucking thirst of... Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. You're cool this day, but you're not cool this day. <laughs> motherfuckers... We see this shit a mile away. You know? That's the concept. You know, motherfucker, you can't put that shit on in front of me. You know? Put all the makeup you want on. Filter it all you want. You know what I mean? That still ain't going to show your fucking true, you know what I mean? Lies. I'm going to Aaron Lewis your ass. I'm on the outside. I'm going to come through your ass already. 
walking around with a soldier and they don't even know it, you know what I mean? It's just, it's funny. Like when I meet people, like uh, when Johnny came here or Draven or anybody comes here, you know what I mean? If I if I like them, I'm gonna help them. If not, fuck you. You know what I mean? I don't know you, motherfucker. I ain't obligated to give you nothing. If I don't know you in my personal life, if you ain't my friend or somebody I know of, if you know what I mean, I'm not obligated to nothing of you. You know, any one of my friends. Right there. What's up, Markins, brother? Not much, brother. What you been into, my man? That's one of my high school. I, I, my friend will tell you I didn't put up with somebody picking on somebody around me. You ask that boy right there. He is one that I took up for all through school. Then he got big enough to beat us all. I don't, man, boy, you know what I mean? We all live that life, guys. Seeing a way this or that. People don't know. People don't know, man. You know what I mean? You know. You remember it all. We spit the truth. We could make our own motherfucking documentary. Could we not, bro? I've been screaming that. That's the part I've been screaming. We don't need nothing else. The other generation's right here, man. It ain't went nowhere. That's the part I keep screaming. Because if there's a next generation, it's the next generation that's right fucking here. You feel me, guys? It's right here. The ones that are still here, to me, is the next generation. You know, just like in the song, there's a new generation taking over his shields and hollers. You best believe that. And their generation to us, you know what I mean? They're our generation. And why can't people accept that? I accept that, you know what I mean? It's our children, guys. Let them put it down. You see what I mean? Whatever they want to do. Let them fucking put it down for us. Don't mock that shit. Not much Nathan chilling, bro. Getting my buzz on. Sitting here just killing time. Is a killing me. Drinking myself blind. Lord, I can't see. Buddy, I'm fucking waiting on you two hour. So I can roast you. Well, I ain't gonna roast people. I'm just gonna go in there, and do a live, because I'm gonna delete a bunch of the videos. I've done got rid of a few of them. You know what I mean? Of the ones that they, you know what I mean? I ain't worried about no fucking drama or negativity on there. They can run that shit on their pages all they want. You understand? I don't want that on mine. But if it comes, it comes. You know? And we'll get rid of it. We'll deal with it as it comes. If anybody has a problem with that, then fuck you. If you don't chew big red, then fuck you. Straight up. Motherfucker. My shit is not made for children. Parental advisory explicit motherfucker. I'm gonna have to get me a tag. It just I'm gonna start posting in my stream lad before it even goes live. It says parental advisory. Rate it X X X X X ninety two. You might wanna watch this shit, you know what I mean? Because it's hard to tell what could happen. That's the kind of shit, you know what I mean? It should be fucking, uh, brought to fucking YouTube. Not a bunch of fighting with each other. What the fuck we doing? We in fucking high school? Hell no. That's right, Nathan. I'm bringing the fire, son. You know what's up. You, you, you know what I, you know what I mean, if you've listened to me and paid attention to what I've been saying, it's coming. You know what I mean? I'm not sitting around. You know what I mean? I got videos. It's a fucking amazing. You know what I mean? Right now. But there's certain people in those videos. You know what I mean? I don't want expli explicit. You know what I mean? Because the moment they get in them videos, they're going to be explicit about those motherfucking lingering motherfuckers now, ain't they? You feel me? And that, that causes me to have to go back and edit some shit. That's some bullshit. I don't edit shit, motherfuckers. <laughs> when Joey Nixberg approached me, he had a fucking uh, a script in his hand. I know, man. You know, he's like, I was like, oh, this, this shit ain't working, man. When the power of love outweighs the love of power, is when the world will see peace, my man. Is that what you're talking about? He says it like that. 
That's Jimi Hendrix, if you're talking about what I just said. When the power of love outweighs the love for power is when the world will see peace instead of hating on each other and constantly dumb shit. That's the whole concept of what I say when I say that. And Jimi Hendrix said it, yeah. That's what you're talking about, Nathan. That's exactly right, buddy. Right. I promise. When the power of love outweighs the love for power is when we can see peace. You know? That's how he says it. You've never seen the documentary, man? See, I don't forget shit. Like, if I see that quote in that documentary like that, I'm instantly going to use it in my head, you know? There's nobody going to say they're going to take a fucking bulldozer and take it to my cemetery, family cemetery. You will go and fucking, you know what I mean? Who says some shit on, like that on Memorial Day weekend, man? That's the kind of crazy shit I'd be talking about. And then I hear, oh, I ain't going to speak. Fucking, I'm going to speak. My dad can't speak. I'm going to motherfucking speak. You best believe that, motherfucker. You see what I mean? That really disrespected me. You know what I mean? That's very disrespectful. That's one of the disrespectful things I've heard some of these fucking idiots come up with yet, man. You see what I mean? That you don't say shit, shit like that. Try it. You know what I mean? My family would, motherfucker, you think we went somewhere? That we still here? You won't hear, you, I, I promise you. You think me? We wouldn't have to. It'd be the people that watch our family cemetery would fucking would, would leave you there for some shit like that. I mean, come on, man. Get with reality. Saying some shit like that makes you sound like you're fucking in high school. Not even high school. Grade school. I mean, come on. We can't be having that shit like that. Like I said, when the power of love outweighs the love for power, you know what I mean? It's when we can see peace because everybody wants to be in the front mm -hmm. center of this or this or that. You know what I mean? Who gives a diddly fuck who is in the front of what? That's how I feel, man. You know what I mean? And I, I'm taken so wrong in so many fucking ways, it's unreal. But what can we do, man? get up and start another day, you know, that's all we can do, one pant leg at a time, just like you guys, we know different, no more, no less, you know, I preach that so many times, like when somebody messes me, oh, this, no, don't call me that shit, you know what I mean, because I'm far from that, we're a family that was taken very much advantage of by a motherfucking entertainment business. That's what the fuck we was, you know what I mean? That was some bullshit, just like it was some buck wall bullshit. Some motherfucking popcorn sutton bullshit. I can just keep naming some bullshit that they rip people off on millions of fucking dollars, man. Billions, let's get into billions, probably. Some bitches. Dirty bastards. My family shouldn't have to be on here arguing about anything, about any kind of shirt or anything like that. You know what I mean? That makes me super mad because that's because of them. It's all because of them. And I see it. I've always saw it. You know what I mean? They created the fucking shit. The drama. Not us. You don't put it together like that, man. You know what I mean? There's 500 hours, guys, of our filming. 500. And you... <laughs> From all the shit that we did, you come up with that. All the fist fights, everything, you come up with that shit. Motherfuckers, y'all need to reevaluate your motherfucking uh, concept of uh, making movies. Or whatever the fuck you wanted to do there, you know what I mean? Because I would have, no, 500 hours, I would have made three of these motherfuckers. It wouldn't have been 60 minutes either. That shit would have been 90 minutes. Easily. And it should have been. That's what, I know, that's what I expected. I expected more than that. I expected a, like a 120 hour minute a movie. I swear I did. Because 500 hours to 120 minutes. 
Get the fuck out. I, I expect at least 120 minutes. I did. At least is what I expected. When they, you know, when... I, I, you think I wouldn't question these motherfuckers like the FBI when they was making this motherfucking thing? I was like, how much have y'all filmed of us, man? You know what I mean? How much shit, you know what I mean? He's like, like me. And it says it right on there. 500 hours. He goes crazy because Sue Bob took the footage one night. Yeah, the whole footage of the fucking whole shebang, baby. And was going to burn that motherfucker. And shit, you see what I mean? Oh, they didn't have a camera to do that because... <laughs> Oh yeah, begging me to help him to get it back. He came and got me and shit. Man, it was some crazy shit, man. My family will tell you, these motherfuckers try to pay us up with little party favors and shit, man. Like here's you some, here's you some beers, some pills and... Dude, I already got that. What the fuck you talking about? Beers and pills. This Boone County, West Virginia, motherfucker. This is the middle of fucking Big Pharma. This is the this is the moment it's about to explode. You know what I mean? They're just using our movie just to fucking tip it off. Pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> I should get the fuck out of the way, Ralph Nelson, you son of a bitch. Ralphie Nelson, I said. You talking about us at the big slide? Yeah. It's the first time I ever went to the ocean, man. So I thought I would share that with you guys. You know what I mean? That's what I do. You know, I always got on here, and that's the first perspective I ever said. Look, it's, I'm documenting my motherfucking life. You know what I mean? That's the whole concept of what I said. You know, I'm, I'm still going, you know. Everything that I'm saying around me is, is, is true, you know what I mean? It's, it's documented life, you see it right here. Like, when I sat there and watched that fucking race earlier, and we was watching it all together, you know what I mean? Shit. Same concept. That's what, look, that's what I was doing. Now, this time last year, you know what I was doing? It was me, Draven, Gogol, all of us were sitting right here. That was this time last year. I'm on one. Yeah, I remember that. That's the day show, you know what I mean? Me and his, like he says, me and, in the video, me and his brother was really close friends. Really close. Never like it was, man. You always tell it like it is, never like it was, brother. Always. You know? You come here, you'll hear any one of my family members speak to you like that, you know what I mean? We speak in words just how we spoke, you know? Ask the question, oh, you, you want to smoke a joint? Yeah, you're the bear shit in the woods. You know, we just use them little sweet, fast quotes. And that's why you asked me. I think you're the one asked me about the Hendrix one. That's an Appalachia thing, man. You know what I mean? Trust me. Ask anybody that roams these woods like I do, or Kentucky, or anywhere like that. You know, it's in it's in our blood. We talk like that. You know, we just got little quick sayings like you guys would have sayings in the city. You know, same difference. And they want to say, oh, 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 they're all different. They're all different. Joe Biden's gonna get us all blowed the fuck away. Is what he's gonna do. He ain't getting me blow fucking nowhere. I'm ready, motherfucker. Let's roll. Honky tonk women. Rolling stones playing the fucking background when the fucking 50 cow goes off, son. That's what I got to say. You know what song I would have playing if I was rolling in on those bitches? Like that. The Davis Spencer group. So glad you made it. Give me some loving. Every day, dun 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 dun. That fucking, you know what I mean? Go right with the beat. <laughs> Think about that shit. Wouldn't that be fucking awesome? Yeah, bring it in. You know what I mean? Because my soldiers are here, and so glad they made it. Yeah, we, we're giving them some loving. You know what I mean? With that fifty cal support, blowing them up, right off of them. You know, we played in Vietnam. We would play that song. Buffalo Springfield, 
for what it's worth and shit. So they knew that was our helicopters approaching. We would play I mean, Credence, uh, Fortune of Sun. That's it. And Buffalo Springfield. So they knew that was our choppers coming in. That's why, you know what I mean? You see that in movies. So they knew it was the American artillery. You know what I mean? We would play them on the boxes. I bet them being gone for like, what the fuck is that? That's a nine two. Yeah, they come up and have all the ground and shit on us, man. We had to fuck them up. Son, son. AR-15, well, the M-16 is one that was issued. One of my favorite quotes, he says, I don't want that pellet gun. He said, you think you get, they're going to get close enough? He said, well, you think Sergeant Major? He said, we got a bunch of fucking kids and pellet guns. That's right. You know what I mean? The first time they're ever issued this M16, they're looking at it like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Because it's, it's replacing the M1 Garand because they changed it into the, they tried to change it to the M14, and that did not work. That just didn't happen. The M14 fucked all up, jammed all up, and shit on them and shit, and, uh uh, no, we couldn't use it, so. We went to the 5.56 five, millimeter, 223, basically a fucking deer rifle. That's the baby deer rifle, you know what I mean? That's what we went to. That's what, it's designed to kill man. That's what that fucking rifle was designed for. Then we just tackled it up through the years to the AR-15, to the M4, all that. That's all that is, man, is the M16. Still comes back to that rifle. But now it can equip a lot more, of course, with the chrome line barrel and all that shit. But when it was issued, those ones, no. That, that's a Colt. You know what I mean? I'd love to fucking have one over a thousand. That's a Colt M16. The worst fucking, uh, or MP40. You know, a real one is a 9mm, not a 40 caliber. That's a. Uh, a German Nazi rifle. That's a submachine gun. That's worth fucking fourteen thousand dollars, man. I seen one online. I was like, oh god, I'd love to have it to go with my sets. You know what I mean? You know, what I mean? oh lord, to have something like that would be precious. You know what I mean? A Thompson is nothing. The Tommy gun. I've had two of those motherfuckers. Or nothing on that's a 45, so it is. ACP. Like Bonnie and Clyde, baby. <laughs> Fuck some shit up. That's what I'm saying. I think that's the best love story ever told, by the way. Everybody be talking about some Titanic shit and shit. <laughs> what did I just hear? Titanic. Compared to Bonnie and fucking Clyde, hell to the no no no. no. <clears throat> what kind of damn movies you watching and love story you being told, man? This is some shit that was made up by some James Cameron motherfucker, but Bonnie and Clyde robbed these motherfuckers and still loved each other no matter what and evaded the police together. I mean, through the recession people for a reason, man. Is it against the cause, son? He said, it sounds like you've been reading them newspapers printed in Washington, D.C. That's all I gotta say. It's like Walter Goggins says in the April 8th, by God. He said, that sounds like my kind of man. <laughs> Hell yeah. The Hateful Eight is probably my favorite movie, man, in the past 20 years it's been made, besides Casino and Heat and shit like that. The Hateful Eight is right up there with them, because the storyline isn't, you can't get no better, and you can't get no better than the actor they pick for that motherfucker. You got Kurt Russell and fucking Walter Goggins, I mean, the cast is amazing. Samuel L. Jackson, is, you know what I mean? Dance, bitch. 
Hold on, Don Ragu. Just hold on. I want to see you dance, bitch. <laughs> he said you would fucking take a wood suit and fucking he both Channing Tatum's head come off into his sister's mouth his brains she said he was giving up he said he took too long <laughs> mm. yeah yeah but right like right at nine months buddy something like that hold on I gotta count it up soon because the worst thing I ever did the last time was I kept counting that shit and it drove me crazy. When you keep counting, it will drive you crazy, trust me. You just take it one day at a fucking time, one second, one minute, sometimes at a time, boy. That's how you gotta take it. But it don't bother me at all. You know what I mean? It's just like a different concept. It's just take a strong minded motherfucker to look at somebody and say, dude, I don't want that shit. You know how many times I've said that already? This is Boone County, West Virginia, man. Think about that. I don't want that shit, son. Get somewhere. I know what I've done with my life just for today. That's right, buddy. Amen. Right there, just for today. Just for today. One day. You see what I mean? I can go back, you know what I mean? When I was doing my group, I, I graduated that. You see my certificate, son. You know what I mean? Then I got people, oh, I'll snort pills off of the, your certificate. Blah, blah, things like that, dude. You say that in my face, motherfucker. And they'd be wiring your jar shut certificate, too, wouldn't they? That's some dumb shit. You know what I mean? You don't attack people and shit like that. Now, right here, I got prescription for this. I got chronic pain and post-traumatic stress disorder, motherfuckers. <laughs> and that's a fact. I would to smoke this. And I can prove it to the world. That's what, you know what I mean? They can't accept, son. They can't accept that I burned their ass with nothing but facts and truth. They can't stand that, dude. And they can't stand to be called out. They want to be shouted out, you know what I mean? Of course, any fan does. But if someone's going to talk to you like that, why would you shout that person out? <laughs> you see what I mean to get your attention to say something negative like that instead of positive you know because there's so many fucking comments that go through you throw it at the person here now you might want to look in the mirror on that shit yeah that's right bro Love your card. That's what I'm saying. I love mine too. This is a medicine. I don't give a fuck what anybody says in this world. Read that Bible. If you if you believe in that Bible, you you better believe that this exists. You know what I mean? Believe it. Every seed shall grow. Every seed shall benefit. I'm pretty sure you know that little girl would go into seizures. I mean, seizures until her mom went out and got fucking shake, strained it down and dropped it in her mouth, son, and proved it. That's when California fucking is called Charlotte's Web. Just Google it, son. That's when they, you prove that that is meta fucking casein in my hand right now. I don't smoke this weed, you know what I mean? I, I start getting motherfucking panic attacks, all kinds of fucking shit, son. You know what I mean? From the shit I've been through. That, that's, then it turns to post-traumatic stress. You know what I mean? It freaks me the fuck out. That's what people don't get. I've been diagnosed with that shit like three different times. When you fucking like, uh, go through the fucking them post-traumatic situations, you never forget them. You dream about them, everything. You know what I mean? They're always stuck with you for the rest of your life. And they're fucking traumatic. Super traumatic. That's why it causes what it does. Like motherfuckers that went to war. You know what I mean? I shouldn't have seen shit people have seen. I mean, worse or probably worse. Or, you know what I mean? That's awful to even say. Oh, God. Here we go. 
Somebody hacked one of my friends' this thing. I know them. <laughs> but said, let me put $1,500 shit on your cash app. Uh-oh. There it is. <laughs> All right. And I don't know how motherfuckers be doing that shit, but they be doing that shit. The ones you email and all that shit. And they think they're smart. Shit. They tell me the fucking nine-eyed motherfucking goose in the loop, so. Jackson County, yeah, they're under investigation too, man. West Virginia corrupted with the law. You go, you get told you go to jail here, your ass is going to starve to death. First of all, your ass gonna be dead and fucked from starving to death. You better, you better hope you got somebody to put money on your motherfucking books, and you better order it instantly. Cause you're gonna starve. You ain't gonna eat that food. That food's like something they give to it. I, I wouldn't give it to my dogs, for real, for real. They bring some shit in when it looks like green meat and shit, man. You ain't gonna eat this shit, I promise you. Fucking slaves wouldn't eat this shit, man. I'm telling you. Nobody. I wouldn't give it to no one on this planet. And that's what they serve, you know what I mean? Every day. You have to be a fucking soldier to be able to eat that. You know what I mean? You have to mix that shit together to even make it tolerable. <laughs> I'm telling you, son. Don't come to jail in West Virginia. They'll give you some shit. That, you know what I mean? You don't want the loaf. Your ass goes in there. You get that thing. And you get it once every day. Every meal. This thing. Oh, my God. Mm. It's, made, it's made up by this one dude. Mm-hmm. A lot of jails and prisons use that motherfucker. It's nasty, man. You can't even bear to eat it. And it's so dry and shit, but it's all these vegetables cooked together. <laughs> it's fucking nasty. But, man, I'm about to go get me up some motherfucking beef hot dogs and chili and slaw and onions that I ordered earlier. <laughs>